guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheryl and today I'm here to bring you a spoiler free review for Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. But first, in advance, I do apologize for the lighting. It is really, really gloomy outside today. Like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna storm all day. So I do apologize for the shitty lighting, but what you gonna do? So Mistborn is a high fantasy book that is set in a universe where basically this evil ruler took over and a long, long time ago, like I think a thousand years in the past, someone tried to, you know, a hero arose and tried to take out the evil ruler, but he failed. And as a result, the evil ruler kind of doubled down on how cruel and evil he was, more or less. And so this book takes place like a thousand years after that event. And oh, everything about this book was just great. The characters were really interesting. The setting was really interesting. For the most part, for the story, you follow the character of Vin. She is basically, at the beginning of the book, a street urchin. She makes her living thieving in the main city, and she just kind of is just struggling to stay alive, really. And she meets another group of thieves, and together they decide that they're going to pull off the greatest heist of the century, which is essentially take out the Lord Ruler, who is the most evil evil guy around and the story really takes off from there and oh I really really enjoyed this book I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it because this is a pretty hyped series everyone seems to love this series or at least love Brandon Sanderson's writing and I do understand the hype around his writing it was just it was so good but it was dense I will give it that it was dense which meant that this wasn't a particularly quick read but I still enjoyed everything I read. I still was invested in the story that even though it was dense, I still was like, oh my god, I just, I couldn't put it down. I did find that after I finished it, though, I just sat there and I was like, whew, wow. Which is usually what happens with dense books, and like I said, this was no exception. One thing I really loved about this book was how easy the world was to imagine. Like, I could see everything as Brandon Sanderson was describing it. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a very bleak world. Ash covers everything. It's dirty, it's grimy, there's not much that ever happens. There's no green grass, nothing. It's a very desolate world, so it's not that hard to imagine, but Brandon Sanderson's writing was very interesting, and it was very descriptive in a way that wasn't info dumpy, which I appreciate because a lot of fantasy tends to be very info dumpy because, I mean, you're building a world from scratch. And so for his writing not to be that way, but still build, but to still be detailed enough for me to like imagine the world, I appreciated. There was also some fantastic, fantastic character development in this book. The, the characters at the beginning of the book were basically nothing like themselves at the end of the book, but it was all positive changes as opposed to just completely being a 180. They had good character growth, good character arcs, and I really appreciated that because this is like a 600 page book and it drives me crazy when you have long fantasy books that don't have good character development or is just like Mary Sue level character development where they become perfect by the end of the book. That was not the case with this one, so I really did appreciate that. Also, the magic system in this was just crazy and awesome. I never read anything like it. Um, the magic system and this universe uses allomancy, which means that if you have the ability to, to wield magic, you consume metals, and the metals is what gives you abilities. Some of the abilities, uh, depending on what metal you consume, you can control the emotions of the people around you, whether you incite them to be like anxious or like mad or angry, or you can calm them down, or you can pull yourself towards metal or push yourself away from metal and so it's pretty cool i've never seen anything quite like that he also explained the magic system in a way that was very easy to understand which is another gripe i have with other fantasy books and that they tend to be really bogged down with the details sometimes and so i really just overall loved how like fleshed out this world this ca these characters the magic system was without being info dumpy so I definitely have to give it major props for that because that is something a lot of fantasy cannot achieve. My biggest gripe with this and the reason that I didn't give it a full five stars and I gave it a four out of five instead was just because this book was so slow. Like for the first, I don't know, two thirds of the book I would say, I was just like, all right, come on, let's pick it up, let's pick it up. And of course, once it did pick up, it was like mind blowing. A lot happened at once but 
you could definitely tell that this was more of a setup book. It was more of a, let's introduce these characters, give them a little bit of development, let me introduce you to the world, to the system of magic, etc, etc. You could definitely tell that this was not a very big plot driven book. Now, that being said, like I said, I was super invested in the story regardless, so it wasn't difficult for me to read it in a very short amount of time, even though it was kind of boring. And I do intend to continue the series because someone told me on Twitter that it does pick up, the series itself does pick up after um, the first book, so I do look forward to that. But yeah, overall, like I said, I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. It was fantastic. If you have not read the Mistborn series. I think the first one has got a different name in the UK. I don't know what, or I think, I don't know if it's just the UK or if it's like the UK and Australia. I don't know why they changed the name of the first book in America and it actually threw me off when I was trying to find the book for myself, but the first one overseas being, um, The Final Empire, I believe. But anyway, if you have not read the series yet, and you like adult fantasy, I would highly recommend it. There is a fair amount of violence, hardly any romance. It is fantastic. I just, oh, I definitely, definitely will be continuing the series. So keep an eye out for my review of the next one. So anyway, that's my spoiler free review for Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and follow me on all of my social media, which is always linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.